Hello everyone, I'm K.M. Wyland, and today I am super excited to be able to share with you my latest project, which is the Outlining Your Novel Workbook Computer Program, which is based on my books of the same name and has been put together for us by the brilliant programmer, Bob Miller. This is the complete Outlining Your Workbook book put into a computer program that includes all of the questions and exercises and a few extra bonuses but allows you to to create your outline on your computer instead of longhand in a book if that's more your speed and also what that means is that you don't have to buy a new workbook every time you start a new outline you can create endless files and projects within the program for every new um, story that you come up with. So today, really quick, I just kind of want to give you a little tour of the program and show you around all of its very cool features. Um, everything kind of starts up here in the control button, which is the icon button up here. This is where you get to add new pro new files, um, new projects, you get to import old ones if you've had to save them on a different computer or something like that. Um, this is where you'll select between your various programs and your various book files and outlines that you have created. All right, now we're in the demo project, which comes preloaded on the program and has lots of instructions and insights and kind of just walks you through the program. Um, so I definitely recommend when you get the program first, just kind of going through that and letting it kind of show you everything that the program is capable of doing. And then, of course, you have um, the ability to export your program to delete. Um, it's got a robust help section. It includes all of the text from the workbook itself. So if you go to the help, you'll get to this TOC, the table of contents of the workbook, and it will show you all of the intros and examples um, to kind of give you an idea what to write about, what each section is supposed to help you with. And there's a little help button on each of the different sections within the program, so you can easily access the pertinent part of the the text from the workbook by doing that. And also in the help section we've got a great instructions feature that kind of just gives you an overview of what everything does and lets you kind of scroll through that. Um, gives you an overview of the program and that kind of thing. So that's just kind of the basics. All the fun stuff is up here in these tabs at the top. Each of the tabs corresponds with the chapters from the workbook itself, as you can see here. So we've got premise, general sketches, character sketches, etc. The character uh, chapters have been combined into one tab um, for easy access in the program. Anyway, so basically you're able to just kind of go through these tabs in order um, and it will give you a guided step-by-step -step program for brainstorming your outline and fleshing out all of the details and making sure that you're aware of all of the important details and also taking full advantage of all of your ideas potential. And obviously, just like with the workbook or any outlining process, you're free to use the um, different parts of the program in any order you want. You don't have to fill out everything. If that's not something that you feel is going to help you, you don't have to, you don't have to do it in order. Do whatever is going to optimize your creativity and help you and no more no less. But anyway, just to show you kind of the overview of everything that this is capable of, if you start with the premise section, and if you see this little info button, if you click on that, that's what's going to give you the text from the workbook. So you can read that and make sure you're on the same page as what we're trying to accomplish with the various sections. Um, and we'll also hopefully answer any questions that you initially have about what is this for, what am I supposed to do with this. So you could you click through all of these various sections to get where you want to go. The first one is um, the premise questions. These questions are going to start to help you brainstorm, like I say, the full potential of your ideas, but also just make sure that you're refining them and putting them on the page in front of you so that you can actually understand what you're doing with it. Um, this is one of my favorite exercises, the what if question. You just run through these as fast as you can. What if this happened? What if that happened? 
ask yourself what's expected from a story of this type. Some of these expectations you'll want to fulfill, some of them you won't. So you'll also want to explore what's unexpected. What, what will readers not see coming in a good way? And then we're going to, you kind of refine that down into your two sentence premise, which you can use the questions that are um, presented in these other tabs to help you refine and figure out the various parts of the premise sentence. And that's going to be your guideline as you go through your entire outline. Um, you can also do a variation of the premise sentence, which is the logline, which we've got a great little guided um, way to do two different kinds of loglines here. It's kind of like Mad Libs. You uh, set up, you just insert whatever applies to your story. Your protagonist, whatever he is, the thing that describes him, and that just kind of leads you through the overall gist of what you're trying to convey in a really punchy logline that will help you in your outline and also in... Um, if you need to pitch it to agents or something like that. Then you're going to flesh that out even more into a full-on story summary. This is something that you could use as the back cover copy eventually once you're ready to publish. And then we've got quite a few what I call pre-outline questions. And these we start with the big moments that you're going to, you already know about in your story and that these are kind of the skeleton that you're going to frame the rest of your story around. A cool thing here is that if you click this button after you've written down a big moment, this is going to take you to a, see a screen where you can explore the complications and the consequences of that moment. And you can also use this down here, the structure skeleton, to make sure that you're lining everything up with the proper um, story structure, which we've outlined for you here. So you can kind of use that as a guideline and then fill in the blanks in between those big scenes. Um, here we've got character questions to just kind of help you start figuring out your character's arc, where they're at the beginning of the story, start figuring out your antagonists. And then we're going to go over to the scene list, which of course is where the story gets started, the outline gets started in earnest. This is where you start planning beat by beat what needs to happen in your story. And this is very robust. Um, I'm going to talk about this more particularly in another little video tutorial if you want more information about how to use this. But basically you click here to create a new scene. You can drag your scenes around using these drag bars, add them to folders. You can color code them to kind of give you a guideline about, you know, what, what do I need to still work on this? Is this ready to go? Is it something that's good information but probably isn't going to go in the book itself? And um, then, of course, you can export your scenes, just the scenes. This is going to export not the rest of the outline, which you can do when you're printing, but this is just going to export the scenes into text docs that you can use elsewhere on your computer. Now we have connecting the dots, which is going to bring over all of the incomplete scenes from the scene list. So over here, if you mark a scene incomplete by, with the red, that's going to tell the program that you still need to work on it. So if you then go over to connecting the dots, you're going to find all of your red scenes in this section. And this is going to allow you to kind of frame your question about why the scene is incomplete. What do I still need to work on? And once you, I always like to say that if you know the right answer, finding the right, if you know the right question, sorry, finding the right answer is easy. So that's going to allow you to then kind of brainstorm through the plot holes in your story. Character arc and theme, very important. This is where you're going to start kind of figuring out the overall arc of your character through this story and how that harmonizes with the scenes you've already created and the story structure. Um, you can use, you're going to get, we're going to get to characters more in depth a little later on, but you use this button right here, which is going to take you over to the interview section and allow you to select a name, a protagonist for your story so that you can focus on him while you're working on character arc and theme over here. So there's several tabs of questions here that you can work through. Be sure to not just click through the tabs, but to look down here at the radio buttons. Some of these sections, not all of them, not this one, but some of these sections have quite a few different pages and you can access them through the radio buttons or through these arrow buttons. So make sure that you're seeing everything that's there and taking advantage of it. Finally, we've got conflict. Um, this is where you're able to kind of work through, again, a number of different pages of options, starting with a list of the worst things that you could have happen to your characters. And then we're going to get into character sketches, starting with an overview of the character's backstory. 
And we've got a very robust interview section, which is based on all of the interview questions that I've kind of collated for myself over the years. I think there's like 100 plus questions at this point, which is very thorough. You can do as all of them if you want, or just a, the few that you feel will be pertinent to your story. And then we've also got places where you can do a freehand interview, something a little less structured, where you can just kind of start talking to your character, asking him questions directly, seeing what insights he gives you back. We've got um, places where you can kind of explore the Myers-Briggs personality type, um, the four temperaments type, the Enneagram. You can go through the likable character checklist to see how your character is stacking up and exploring all of your character's prominent traits. We've also got sections where you can explore all of the your minor characters in not quite as much depth as your main character, but enough that you can kind of get a sense of who they are. And then all of the characters that you create, which again you can do with this button, you'll see the little plus button for characters in quite a few places. Um, and you can do that here to create a, a list and all the characters will show up here in your scene list and you can add just a few overall thoughts about them here so you can get see it at a glance what you've, you're dealing with. Settings you can find here. You're going to have questions you can answer and lists you can create so you can see all of your settings and that will show up in the setting list which again you can add to by using the plus button. Um, there's also some world building questions which are specifically designed for fantasy and science fiction, speculative fiction in general. Some of it may be useful if you're writing historical fiction or that kind of thing but primarily this is for speculative authors. Um, it's not um, super complete. There's definitely lists you can find that are more complete, but this can kind of get you started if you're writing that kind of a story. And then we're going to come over to um, kind of more of the, the the stuff that we're really starting to refine our outline. We're going to talk about story elements you might want to include. And again, there's quite a few pages here that you can go through. You're going to start talking about um, the voice that you want to present this in, which characters could be the narrator, um, what what do you want to tell the story in first person or third person, past or present tense? These are all decisions that it's best to make in the outline before you get to the first draft. So this gives you an opportunity to work through that, as well as some other um, questions here and kind of test, give your character a voice test, see which character you feel is, has the opportunity to be your best narrator. Some questions to help you um, identify your audience, which is helpful not just in writing the book, but later on when you're ready to start thinking about how to market it. This is where you can really start hammering down your story structure, which you're probably going to want to use in concert with the scene list. The more refined this gets, the more you're going to want to make sure you're also working on through all of these important questions about the structure in each of your three acts. And then finally you have a scene checklist to kind of help you double check each of the scenes you've created. Um, which you can access up here in the scene list. And um, this is just going to help you refine and make sure that each scene is necessary to your story and bring in as much as it can to the table. Now the extras are really fun. These are just kind of fun things to help you um, create your own ideas. If you do a mind map of your own, you write it out by hand or you print it in a different program, you can drag that in here into the um, outlining program so that you have it here for access. You can do the same with a map if you're writing um, fantasy or historical or whatever. If you want to draw, drag a map in for reference, you can do that here. The perfect review kind of gives you an opportunity of um, just figuring out what you really want this story to be and how to take advantage of that. A calendar to help you keep track of the time in your story. The playlist, which I love, lets you import your own songs um, with some guidelines, you know, say you want a, a theme song for your protagonist or your antagonist, and then let you play that in the thing here. So this has got its own little playlist player that pops up and will play in the background while you are working on your outline. And then it also lets you um, keep the um, casting choices for all of your characters, which is also really fun. If you get that, if that's something that, like me that helps you to cast um, an actor or someone that kind of gives you a visual image of your characters. And earlier in the story, in the character section, you can actually add a picture of this person. So I hope that gives you an overview of what this program is capable of. Honestly, I still kind of am geeking out over it. Um, and I hope it's something that's really going to help you take full advantage 
of your outlining and your storytelling in general.